Hi everyone, in this video which is part of the Node.js how to series, we're going to be learning how to check the stats of a file. Now this is something similar to what you get when you run the start command against a file. We don't have any file here, but I'm going to be showing you that real soon. Let's create a file. Let's say touch hello.txt. Then this file, let's just put something into it. Let's say echo. Welcome to dev talk with fk and let's just send that into the file so now we have the file and we have some content in it now when i run start hello.txt it gives us a bunch of information about the file things like its permissions or uh, the i believe this is the group this is the user and the date it was created the date it was modified and so many other pieces of information now that we have an idea of what we are trying to get from the file let's see how to do this with node.js let's see how to get all this information using node.js so i'm going to make a node file let's say touch stats.js then let's open this folder in vs code so here in vs code we have the project folder opened so we can open our stats.js file and for this we're going to be requiring two modules two core node.js modules first is the fs module so we have fs and we just break that in using require say fs then the next one will be bat bring in bat and say require bat so we have those two and next we create a variable for our file part that's the part of the hello dot txt file so um for this we're going to use part.join and inside part.join we're going to pass in process dot current working directory that's the cwd function to give us the directory the party directory that we're in and then we tag that onto the hello.txt file so that we can have the full path to this file written correctly so that if we move between platforms, let's say we move from Windows to Linux, the path is always written correctly. So we have this. Now let's print out our stats. So let's just say const, let's say file stats. And this is going to be done by calling the stats sync function of the FS module. Now this function gives us the statistics of the file and it has a synchronous version. I don't think it has an asynchronous version, so it just has a synchronous version. So we're going to call this. And what are we going to pass into this function? What are we passing into this function? Just the file, just the file part. So let's pass in the file part. So the file part does a part to this hello.txt file. And then we save. Now, in order to see this in our console, we say console, no pun intended, dot log file stats file stat yeah so file stats that's this file stats variable console.log file stats i was going to save that now this file stats variable contains something called a stat object a stat object sorry i think it's stats yeah stats object now this stats object contains all the metadata for this file. That's those are the things that we described earlier. That's the time it was modified, time it was created, last time it was accessed, um, things like the user that created it, or and the group the user belongs to, and all that stuff. So let's save this. Go to our console. Then our console we're going to run node. Stats. Stats. Yeah. Stats. Yeah. Node stats. Hit enter and then we get this beautiful object well colored i don't know whether it's my console that is making this colored but this color looks lovely so we get the start subject like i said and here we get um the mode um i think this indicates the type of link it is uh we get the size we get the access time we get the modified time we this is birth time that's weird don't know what that means but as you can see, a bunch of information that can be useful to you when you are working with the file, when you want to know what has changed, when it has changed, and some other information about the file, like the size of the file, 
and other stuff so um yeah that's pretty much it that's how to view a files metadata in node if you like this video please leave a like and if you want more videos on how to do stuff with node.js as we've been doing in this series please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching